Was this Thomas YouTuber right here one of your favorite Thomas YouTubers at one point? Have you been wondering where they have gone? Why they rebranded their channel into a pop culture channel to then only rebrand it back? Have you also been wondering about if Mr. Ryan has really scammed people? Well, I plan answering those questions in this video. But before we go into what ended up happening to Mr. Ryan, we gotta know, why was he popular in the first place? Mr. Ryan started his channel off with the name of Boko the Diesel Engine. This phase of the channel was really just uploading whatever to see what stick. Almost every YouTube channel goes through this sort of phase when they start out. Then, after this phase, he would end up rebranding his channel into Mr. Edward. Mr. Edward era is where he would start making the thing that he is most known for, his fact videos. These fact videos were all text with no narrator. Not having a voice in the video can be somewhat annoying to some, and I think that Mr. Edward realized this because he would once again rebrand the channel into what we know as today as Mr. Ryan. This third rebrand was definitely the most successful. Mr. Ryan started to get even more popular than before. Now he had narrators in his videos, the editing was better, and overall the content was a huge improvement. After some time of making fact videos, Mr. Ryan would do some different types of content with his very successful Thomas the Tank Engine memes. I myself never found these memes funny, but they did do really well and a lot of other people did find them funny. And a fan movie about Henry, which was a big hit with a ton of people. Mr. Ryan, I would say, was at the peak of his career. But then Mr. Ryan would do something that sounded pretty cool, but would end up being something a lot bigger than anyone actually wanted. The fall of Mr. Ryan is a very interesting story. This is something that, if handled better, would have really helped out this whole situation. Mr. Ryan would announce a Kickstarter to help fund sequels to his Henry movie. The plan was to raise some money to pay for some of the props. These movies would be switching from Tommy models to model engines, and these movies were going to have other people help with them with the scripts, and he was even going to remake the recently released Henry movie to fix some of the problems with the original movie, and to make all the movies have a more consistent art style. The Kickstarter was decently successful, it had 59 backers and raised 2,046 pounds. The people who backed it, I imagine, were very excited for these movies, which stinks because they would soon end up getting unfortunate news. Mr. Ryan would announce on a community post that he had been hacked by a friend of his. This hacker deleted a lot of his videos, and he would later recover them through YouTube. But then when people went to go visit the old video links, people thought that he faked his hacking, but he just ended up recovering the videos. He would then end this community post by saying, I can't continue as Mr. Ryan no more, and that he would be contacting Kickstarter to refund money. Um, there are two words that actually don't really work well in this sentence, and that is Kickstarter and refund. Because Kickstarter doesn't do refunds. Yeah, this is where Mr. Ryan uh, really messed up big time. Uh, if you look at Kickstarter's TOS, scroll down some, you will see this. Kickstarter does not offer refunds. Responsibility for finishing a project lies entirely with the project creator. Kickstarter doesn't hold funds on creator's behalf, cannot guarantee creator's work, and does not offer refunds. So if Mr. Ryan said he would uh, refund people and uh, Kickstarter won't let him, then uh, uh, that, how is that going to make him look a scammer? Yeah, 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 it's going to make him look like a scammer. This could have easily been solved the moment he knew he couldn't refund people, but instead Mr. Ryan didn't say a single thing about this, which led to even more people distrusting him. Now, in an interview I did with Mr. Ryan through text, he told me that in order to refund the money, he would have to exchange personal details with everyone to refund it, and he doesn't want to do that because of privacy reasons. Now, sometime after the interview I did with him in DMs, he DMs me on Discord to tell me that he will in fact be making the films and return to YouTube. So my reaction was like, oh, uh, okay, that's cool, uh, but how's he gonna do this? He obviously has to address what happened. And he would finally say something about this whole situation in a description of a video. Yeah, uh, no one's gonna read the description, Mr. Ryan. Uh, you, I mean, <sighs> One thing I really don't agree with in this description of the clarification is that him saying that if you just asked me, I would have been happy to explain it. Now, it is your job to tell the public what is actually happening with their money and give updates. That's what the Kickstarter is about, after all. 
So it is weird for you to say that just contact me when you already are really hard to contact in the first place. Like your Discord is not public knowledge. So I don't really think this is a fair thing to put in the description because it's your job to keep people updated, especially with money. So that's just, that's just me though. I just don't agree with that. He did tell me he did a community post for this first and uh, no one read it, but just making a whole video to clear up the situation would have really helped him out. But that is the whole scamming drama that went on with Mr. Ryan. But there is one more thing that happened in the middle of this that made Mr. Ryan look even worse than he already was at this time. This event took place sometime after his community post explaining that he's going to leave the fandom. And this was his rebrand to Entity. The entity phase of Mr. Ryan's channel sure was something, wasn't it? Mr. Ryan told me he did this rebrand because an IRL friend of his thought that they could use the channel to do some data click rates, attention span, etc. for a few weeks with YouTube Shorts. And it was an interesting experiment, to say the least. Now, what did Entity post during this phase of the channel? Well, it was mostly pop culture videos like Minecraft and Marvel. It was pretty clear that these were made to see how many views they would get because I don't see these videos having any real passion or creativity in them. It was obviously made just to see what would happen and how many views you could get. This was a very short-lived phase of the channel, but it didn't make Mr. Ryan look any better than he already did. In fact, it made him look even worse than before, which almost seems impossible at this point. But if he just addressed everything before this rebrand, a lot of people would have been okay with that because doing this rebrand made it look like he was running away from his problems and not addressing anything. After a couple weeks, Entity was gone, and the only remaining videos left to even show that this thing exists are the videos I downloaded for this video. So I, I'll leave a link to those, whoever wants to watch them in the description. So where will Mr. Ryan go on from here? He had so much to then lose so much due to him not telling people what was actually happening. Well, Mr. Ryan has come back, he's making videos again, and he's even made some videos of his public again, which is a really cool thing because all of his videos were just totally made private. So I'm glad he's remaking the public again. Now, he did rebrand his channel <laughs> once again. This script was painful because of the amount of times I had to add something. And he's now called Cosmic. That's why the interview screenshots changed names earlier, by the way, because I got these screenshots later on. His new videos are doing as good as they were before, probably even a little better. And I don't think that he will have any trouble getting back an audience that he once had but he will probably have trouble with his reputation. I have tried to keep this video mostly lighthearted, but let's not forget that Mr. Ryan has 2,046 pounds that he got from viewers to make three movies with. Now, if he doesn't make these movies, people will still have the right to call him a scammer and he will need to give updates on these. He told me that he'll make these films because he doesn't want to scam people, but really we're just gonna have to see what happens. So just because Mr. Ryan is looking like he's on a good track and he's now named Cosmic and I really do hope for the best for him that he will get back on track and make these three films and not have the reputation of a scammer. But if he doesn't make these three films, then people have every right to call him a scammer, I feel like, because he did say he was going to refund people and he won't anymore because now he's making the movies. And if you do not trust Mr. Ryan right now, I do not blame any of you because of how poorly he dealt with this whole situation. Here is my message to Cosmic. So Cosmic, you have three films to make. Make sure that you give at least somewhat monthly updates on what is happening to these films so that way you don't even look like a scammer anymore. If something happened during development of these films, like let's say that one of your props broke, then let people know about that. Or just how the progress is going, it might take a while for the scripts, etc. So make sure that you give people these updates because the more you let people know, the more they'll be willing to trust you again and they'll be like reassured that their money is not being wasted. Because this is 2,046 pounds, that is a lot of money. And a lot of people helped you out to get that money for you. So as long as you give monthly updates and make sure that you are giving consistent progress on these films, I think you'll easily regain your reputation. And it will take a while for people to trust you again because of the way you didn't handle the situation well. 
So it will take you time, but I believe that if you do this right, you can regain your reputation and show people that you're, in fact, not a scammer. I want to thank Tunzo Trackmasters, Dab Studios, and Cosmic for helping me out with this whole video. Especially thanks to Cosmic for doing the interview and Dab Studios for providing the screenshot of Mr. Ryan's community post saying that he was going to leave YouTube. Well, this is it for the rise or fall of Mr. Ryan. I want to know what you all think of this situation. Will you be welcoming back Mr. Ryan, or do you need some time? Maybe Mr. Ryan will have a possible rise again as Cosmic. Well, that is it for this video, and thank you all for watching the rise and fall of Mr. Ryan. I'll see you all in another video that isn't focused on one single creator. Goodbye, everyone.